Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today we're back in race room. We're going to have an eight lap race around Euro Speedway Lautzit's short course in the Caterham Crossbow RR. Uh, as you can see, we're starting 15th on the grid. There's 24 cars. Um, let's see how we go. I've got the ROI set to 110 here. Um, I think uh, the short course here at Lautzit's really suits the, the Caterham. Um, very twisty uh, all the way through the circuit, uh, other than the, the oval section leads back onto the main straight so it really really suits this car. Not a bad start there. Let's see if we can avoid the carnage that I'm sure will be this first corner. Yep, yeah, go around the outside. Made up a few all made up quite a few spots then. Love the sounds in race room. Um, very atmospheric again in this caterer. It's a little beast of a car. You can hear the turbo, the wastegate going off continually as you lift off. There it goes. And as you head down the main straight, you get the aero effects as well, the wind. Very snappy little car, obviously. Short wheelbase, turbo. Get as close to that wall as possible on exit. And then we're back on the oval section. So Lance, it's, it's a pretty interesting circuit. It's got a very short but interesting history. Um, it was first opened in uh, August of 2000. And it's has oh, oh. rain fade. It's got the uh, it's got the largest oval in continental Europe, so it's 2.2 miles long. Um, and in 2017, Decra basically licensed the circuit for for testing. Um, I actually wish that the guys at Race Room would add the the Decra section to the circuit because. It turns the circuit into a basically a 12 kilometer track. It would be great for um, some endurance here if that was the case. It, um, the Decra circuit is a giant testing oval with uh, chicanes. And um, if you add the infield um, to it, it just makes for a, an amazing looking super long circuit. up these guys. Just blipping the throttle trying to keep this little car balanced. Living on the edge there, Getting close to that wall. <coughs> you need those wind effects now. I love the little details on this car too, like the, um, the suspension arms moving away in front of me there. They're exposed, obviously. Let's see if we can hang with this lead pack. Come on, come on, come on. Seem to be a little bit quicker through this section than I am. Come on, come on, come on. Love the way the car drives here. Really chuck it into the corners and get the acceleration right as you come out. It feels fantastic. The force feedback in race rooms right up there. Oh, 
<laughs> He's gonna have a crack at me. No way, mate, no way. Still right there. Come on, come on, come on. Run on him, I think I do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Very close there. <laughs> This kind of racing that makes me want to play race room more. It's I haven't really had a dull single player experience in this uh, in this sim yet. Go 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 go! Come on! Very slow through there. That all might catch up from behind. I've said in some other videos, like there's some cars that, that just make you smile while you're driving them. Come on. Especially when you're having a race like this. Come on. Exit, come on. Them. That's good. So much faster through that turn than I am. Just cannot hang with them through there. Big 
block up there. Thomas squealing away. Come on, come on, come on. Get a bit of line, get a bit of line. Got it. Come on, come on, come on. Last lap, here we go. Let's hold him off. Total brain fade. Oh, that's messy. He's right on me. It's a shame that they got so messy through there, that would have been um, a good fight to the end then I think. Are we still there? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice across the line Whew. well I hope you enjoyed that if you did uh, please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll be sure to upload more content soon thanks everyone bye